In this tutorial, we're going to look at the Hunter stack from Dubox. I'm here at the Dubox website where you can purchase this stack and also see a demo. And we'll scroll down a bit and see a live demo here. The Hunter stack itself begins at this filter bar. And this allows you to filter the content below based on categories. And so you can see a number of categories across here, which are genres of movies and then the content itself being a list of different movies you can filter that content based on a selection in the filter bar so if I selected kids it would reorganize that content to just show me the content that was related um, to the kids movies and so that's one practical example of the hunter stack I'll show you another one that I've incorporated with Rapid Weaver Classroom there's a new button inside of the blue bar here called Cop Topic Index if you select that it will take you to a page that uses hunter and this organizes video tutorials by topic and so what I've done is I've added some of the more popular topics of video tutorials to the bar and you can select the um, topic to display the specific tutorials that are related to that topic so for example if I wanted to learn about he header customization I could select that option that would filter the content below and just send me links to those video tutorials um, inside of Rapid Weaver Classroom and so that is another practical example of how Hunter can be used. So let's jump over to Rapid Weaver where we'll look at how this works. It's pretty simple to use Hunter. First thing you want to do, obviously, is add the Hunter stack to the page. And this is what it will look like by default. And so you'll see the filter bar at the top. It will not display your categories here in edit mode. Instead, you'll want to give the category titles directly through these fields. And so the first one, for example, we'll add is kids. And we'll just follow the same um, same example that Dubox did. And we'll add another one called Drama. And then maybe a third one called Action. And then inside of each drop zone, we would place the content that relates to that specific category. And so we could add pretty much any type of content we want using the stacks here in our library. We could use a plain text stack. We could use a combination of images and text. We could even do video stacks or some other type of photo gallery stack. But keep in mind that you want to limit um, the number of more advanced stacks that you use per page so that you don't have conflicts with JavaScript features, with animations and such. And so um, the simpler you can keep it, the better. But the point being that there really is no limit to the type of content you place inside. So for this example, let me drag in a text stack. I'm going to jump back to the DoBox site really quickly just to add some type of real content into the page. I'll copy this, come back to Rapid Weaver and paste it in this space. Now I'm not going to take the time to worry about the formatting. I just want to give you an example of how this is set up. Again, I could drag another text stack in and I'll grab some completely different content from the list. And so let me grab uh, this content and then come back and paste it in as well. And so I'll stop there. I'll just add a plain text stack to this final um, drop zone. And then we will go ahead and take a preview at this page. So this is by default the way that the Hunter stack will look before you've made any customizations. You see the filter bar, with the gray background, and the um, solid border around the edges. You have the text that says filter by, and then by default it will start with the view all category which will display all of the content that you've added into Hunter down the page. Now I can of course filter that content so if I click on kids it will remove everything but the content I placed underneath the kids category. I'll click on drama and then on action and we can see all that content change and the page will um, adjust in height based on the amount of content available in each of those categories. So those are the defaults. Let's take a look at the inspector HUD for the Hunter stack to see what our options are. If I go into that, we will find that the first option is for the number of items listed in the Hunter filter. And so by default, there are three. We can adjust that to, as far as I know, any number that you'd like. Now, obviously, the more content you put on a page, the longer the page load time will be. So if you're going to be using more intensive content such as videos or images, then you might want to limit the number of items that you place in there. But you can um, kind of uh, play with it as much as you'd like to find a good balance. Um, but the point being that Hunter is not really limited by the number of items as far as I know. So in this example, I will just adjust that to 8. Close it out for just a moment and you'll see that Hunter has added 8 more content areas with more categories. So I'm going to quickly change out 
um, or just add a number to the end of each category title because I want them to be unique in order for the hunter stack to display all the categories in the filter bar. And so I'm going to quickly adjust those category names to make them all unique and then I'll just leave the stack content blank for now and then we'll be able to look at the result in a moment. Let's go back and look at the other options first though. Another option is to randomize or shuffle the filter text in the filter bar and then you can also space out horizontally the amount of space between each filtered title and so if you want to spread those out a bit more you can do so with this slider. You can assign a rounded corner around each corner of the filter bar and I like that option so I'm going to bump that up to about five and we will see the result in a moment when we preview. You can change the category title for the all categories which is right here. It says view all by default. If I want to adjust that I could simply change it to something like um, show all content. Likewise I can change the bar title which by default says filter by. If you want to make that a bit more obvious you could say something such as um, select a category. Then you can also change out the um, the uh, character that displays between each link in the filter bar. And so if, for example if you want to make that a vertical pipe you could do that and that'll look good in that space. We've got some color picker options for the current link, the filter bar background, the border of the filter bar, the active link, and the hover link. So there's some good customization that can be done with all of that. We can also change the font size of the text in the filter bar. And finally, we can adjust the starting category that is viewed by default when you visit the page. And so um, Hunter will recognize based on what you've placed into the category title. And so I will set this to kids and that will be where it starts when we preview. So let's go ahead and close this out in preview and we'll see the changes we've made. So a couple of things to note. First of all we have um, the new um, filter title which says select a category. We have a new um, view all type of text which now says show all content but instead of that by default we are on the kids um, category by default. So we only see the content for the kids category below You'll also note that we have the vertical pipe um, between each of the filter titles and that um, it will, uh, Hunter will expand the filter bar vertically to fit all of the filters that you want to add. So what we've seen is that it's wrapped down to a second line and continue to cross. And so as you add more filters it will continue to open up vertically in this space and provide room for more category titles to be located there. Of course we could also adjust the background of the filter bar. We could adjust the color of the um, outline, the border around the edges. We did adjust the radius and so you can now see a slightly rounded um, corner around the border which is nice. And so there's a lot of different options you can do to style the way this looks. Um, let me click through a few of these. Show all content. Again we'll show all of the content that we added to Hunter and then we can click through the other categories to filter those results. And so it's a great um, uh, solution for certain situations where perhaps you need to present a lot of content on a page, but you want visitors to be able to filter that content based on certain categories. It could be useful in some situations for even an um, e-commerce website where you want to filter products into categories on a single page. And so as you watch this tutorial, you may um, come up with some ideas for how this might be used on your website. So it's a great stack from Dubox, and we'll go ahead and wrap up the screencast.